and also you can take advantage of our 23 online churches wow 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 which are available in all the major languages of india and apart from that we have three special churches one is for teenagers called Tufani and Gyani Teens. One is for children, online children church. And apart from that, we have a special program for deaf and dumb. Apart from that, you can watch them in Odia, Telugu, Tamil, Gujarati, Kannada, Tullu, English, Hindi, Chhattisgadi, Rathuri Bareli, Assamese, Marathi, Punjabi, Nepali, Konkani, Malayalam, Sindhi, Bhojpuri, Bengali, and in Malwani. Thank you, God bless you. Jesus, I worship you today. 
전쟁을 외쳐 이제는 외쳐 주말로 나아가 You are holy You are righteous You are true to your love 17 from the message translation says but the children of Israel kept on reproducing they were very prolific a population explosion in their own right and the land was filled with them so we're going to be praying and thanking God profusely for the upcoming church consolidation mission conference 
declare that through this program, there will be growth and multiplication of cells across every church in the zone. We will be prolific as cells, churches, group churches, and as a zone. Praise God. So let's pray according to this prayer point. Makata Ritri Akasi Tioko Pakata Ritri Akata Nyanya Kata Ritri Akata Si Tiokoto. Thank God for this year of the prolific church and all that He's made available to us for this year of prolificity to be manifested in our lives and in our world and our ministry in the name of Jesus. Makata Ritri Akata Makata Ritri Akata Nyakata Ritri Akasi Tioko mission program, Makata Ritri Akata, through which we will see a multiplication, prolificity, a supernatural explosion as never before in the body of Christ in each and every single nation of the world and especially in our Christ embassy in their zone in the name of Jesus. Makata Ritri Akata, Makata Ritri Akasi, Kyoko Makata Ritri Akata, thank God for the prolificity in our church in India, in Nepal, in Bhutan, in Bangladesh, in the name of Jesus. Jesus, Makata Ritri Akata, sells in all spoken languages in these countries in the name of Jesus. Makata Ritri Akata, Makata Ritri Akata, every person from every tribe having access to the gospel of Jesus Christ to these cells in the name of Jesus, being a part and integral member of the body of Christ in the name of Jesus. Nyanya Kata Ritri Akata, yes, pray, pray and declare that through this program we are impacting the lives of everyone connected to this program, everyone transformed in ever increasing glory in the name of Jesus. Makata Ritri Akata, Nyaka Sikyo Koto, Nakata Ritri Akata, Nyaka Sikyo Koto, Nyanya Kata Siti Okoto, Nyanya Kata Siti Akata, Nyanya Kata Siti Akata. Thank you, dear Heavenly Father, for this year of the prolific church. Thank you for the growth, the multiplication of cells, dear Lord God, across every single church in our zone in the name of Jesus. Thank you, dear Heavenly Father, and we pray this in Jesus' almighty name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you so much for praying with us. Now, this is a time for praise and worship. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It's Rhapsody Time, Reality Time. And Rhapsody of Realities is that daily devotional that prepares you for the day and also prepares the day for you. Today's reading by Pastor Chris Yakilome for Sunday, the 16th of July, 2023 is Keep Your Heart Sanctified. Today's same scripture has been taken from the book of Proverbs, chapter 4, verse 23, which says, Keep thy heart with all diligence, for out of it are the issues of life. Praise God. Pastor Chris says, The word keep in the opening scripture doesn't mean to hide something. The Hebrew word is not sar, and it gives a picture of a stronghold mounted over something valuable. Thus, you are to mount God over your heart. Keep your heart sanctified with the word. The reason the Bible places a premium on mounting God over your heart, that is maintaining a perfect heart, is that out of it are the issues of life. Hallelujah. Everything flows from your heart. In other words, everything you need for life is actually in your heart right now. Everywhere you would ever go, everything you could ever have, and everything you'd ever enjoy in this world is in your heart. Praise God. Hallelujah. 
Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 11 says, the Bible says he has set eternity in our hearts and the kingdom of God is in our hearts as we study in Luke chapter 17 verse 21. What then are you supposed to do? Fill your heart with the word so only good will always come forth from your heart. Never let anything unwholesome take root in your heart. Pride, anger, malice, bitterness, hatred. These are poisonous to the heart. Philippians chapter 4 verse 18 gives us an idea of what God wants you to fill your heart with. Things that are honest, things that are just, pure, lovely, of a good report, virtuous and praiseworthy. Praise God. Nothing meets this qualification better than God's word. Hallelujah. That's why you must love the word of God to dwell in you richly as we study in Colossians chapter 3 verse 16. Praise God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. This is a time for confession. So I invite all of you to please close your eyes. Lift up your holy hands and please repeat after me. My thoughts are renewed by the word and they're fulfilled with things that are true, honest, just, pure, lovely, of a good report, virtuous and praiseworthy. I think on the word as it creates and produces in me ideas and pictures of success, endless possibilities and victories, love and fellowship with God. Hallelujah. Praise God. For further study regarding today's message, please also study Romans chapter 12 verses 2, 1 Timothy chapter 4 verse 15, and also Luke chapter 6 verse 45. And if you're following the one year Bible reading plan, please read Acts chapter 24 verses 1 to 27, and also Psalms chapters 1 to 6. And if you're following the two year Bible reading plan, then you can read Luke chapter 9 verses 10 to 17, and Joshua chapter 12. Thank you so much and God bless you. I was beaten 2018 by a group of robbers who entered my house. That night they beat me. I couldn't walk, I couldn't stay, and they took me to the hospital. My condition was sick, it was worse, and they transferred me into our bigger hospital in Liberia, JFK. And the doctor did all of the tests on me and he found out that my spinal cord was broken. Then they ordered for a surgery and they did the surgery on me. Stay, I couldn't walk. I was in a wheelchair, using a wheelchair, I couldn't walk. I went through the pain, I suffered the pains. I couldn't sit up by myself after the surgery. I couldn't sit or stay by myself. They would throw me like a baby and carry me in the bathroom. They would throw me like a baby and put me in the wheelchair. Due to our disability as a son, and my sisters and I, brothers as well, my siblings, we suffer a lot. Can you imagine a single mother who does everything for you and out of a sudden arrow went on her and beat on her and due to that, her spine got broken? She was looking and taken from one hospital to another. We took her from Robert and JFK. We went a lot of places and JFK did she um that's it surgery twice. And the third surgery they said it couldn't be done in Liberia. So we needed like twelve thousand Liberia uh, United States dollars to fly my mother abroad to do her surgery. Where will we get that money from? We don't know. The doctor told me that I was not going to work again. And even to do the surgery, the second surgery, my chance was 50-50. That 
that I was going to live the dad forever because my spinal cord, everything was damaged now. I could use pampers, I was using a urine bed. Everything in my life went back on that sickness from what it did to me since 2018. I couldn't feel from my waist going down, couldn't feel. I couldn't do anything with my hands. I couldn't move my hands. Everything on me was just dead until from 2018 to 2022, set November. 2022 November, I came across a lady. She came to me, she said, sister, hello. I was sitting in my wheelchair. She met me at the post. She said, hello, I said, hello. She said, can I, what's your name? I call my name. And she said, can I connect you to our live healing screen service with Pastor Chris? And that was my first time hearing about healing screen. So I was excited about that. So she registered me. Then I said within myself, I said, among the millions that pastor will heal, the pastor Chris will heal today, into this world, I will be one of them. Within, the so pastor came and healed. started ministering. He's he started healed. ministering. The when pastor was ministering, he went to the screen. He started ministering. He said, you are healed. You, right now, you are free right from spinal cord problems. Rise up from that chair and walk. And I woke up, I my daughter, she had me and I woke up from that day, since 2022, November 4th, I started working, I started working. Things I never used to do, I am doing it now. My hands can move, my legs can move, I can feel on my legs, I can feel on my hand, I can sit up by myself. I, my children are in school now. I can do, I can go to the bathroom freely. I can even bend over. I can go to the bathroom by myself. I can do everything. Everything I can do. I can even cook for my children and oh, all. Glory to God. Can you imagine today that my mother is healed? I can leave my baby at home, go to work, and come back home and be all healthy, safe. My mother now can leave from the house all by herself, go to the bathroom without anybody checking on her. She doesn't feel two to three times a day. Only because God has healed her. The people that are watching me now, whatsoever you are watching me from, I would like for you to register to be connected to the live healing screen service that is coming up. Pastor Chris. Thank you for answering to the call of God. Because if you're not going to answer to the call of God today, Pastor Chris, what am I going to be? I'm going to be dead and gone. I want to say thank God for you. And God will continue to use you to the end of this world until everyone will be healed. Pastor Chris, thank you so much. We have the life of God which cannot be cut up. It cannot be cut up. Because church was not supposed to get sick ever. Church, the message of the message to the church is that they have divine life. Praise the Lord. Jesus said, not mine, but thine be done. Do you ask God that what you are doing, should you be doing it or not? Many don't have that consciousness. God wants you to live according to his will. Bible says those who are living, they should not live for themselves, but to him for, for, for who died for them and who has purchased them. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for children. I speak health. I speak healing in their bodies in the name of Jesus. I command the demon of darkness to leave them in the name of Jesus Christ of Christ. I command those unclean spirits to come out of them in the name. Oh
we praise Him, O Lord. Just praise Him as we sing. The splendor of your majesty, the beauty of your holy name, magnificent in all of your grace. Cut the influence of the devil from this world in the name of Jesus. 
we cut them in pieces in the name of Jesus O Lord all the enemies of the Lord and enemies of the church of the Lord we cut them in pieces in the name of Jesus yes father you rule you reign everywhere O Lord you rule you reign everywhere O Lord yes father your dominion is forever your dominion is forever O Lord thank you father we worship you we honor you we exalt you your children are protected everywhere in the name of jesus no weapon fashion against them shall prosper in the name of jesus any gathering which was against your people we speak confusion and we speak the fear of the lord in the name of jesus o lord your congregations are protected everywhere in the name of jesus o lord Your congregations are protected everywhere in the name of Jesus, O Lord. You said in your word, I will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail. So shall it be. Devil cannot advance in our days in the name of Jesus. We cut their influence in the name of Jesus. Yes. Yes. Oh, thank you, Father. Your children are protected. We cut the spirit of fear from them in the name of Jesus. and we speak protection in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth thank you father the strength is coming to them in the name of Jesus boldness is coming to them in the name of Jesus they are favored everywhere in the name of Jesus thank you father we worship we honor you we exalt your holy name thank you lord yes they are favored from god and they are favored from man in the name of Jesus oh lord they are protected they are protected they are protected from every evil eye in the name of Jesus they are protected from wicked and evil men in the name of Jesus oh lord yes father thank you thank you lord your church is moving forward with speed in the name of Jesus we are advancing in the name of Jesus thank you father thank you lord yes we speak faith we speak faith in the air oh lord in the name of jesus we speak righteousness we speak righteousness in the name of jesus thank you father thank you lord and in jesus mighty name we pray amen praise the lord you may be seated hallelujah can you give your neighbor a kind smile this is month of joy praise the lord so i believe you are joyful last sunday we we started to talk something very important which i think and we didn't finish it so let's start from there we started from proverbs chapter 4 verse 7 it says wisdom is the principal thing therefore get wisdom and with all thy getting get understanding and we understood it from it that um, wisdom will not come to you you have to go and get the wisdom because in the society most of the time people say when will he get wisdom or when the wisdom will come to him wisdom will never come to you if you don't make an effort to get the wisdom that's the nature of business we are talking here this is not something which will come to you because you are 40 year old or 20 year old this is something we have to go after so understand the right connotation that what is the nature of the entity we are dealing with this is not something which you just enter our head praise the lord and that's why god is telling us wisdom is the principal thing therefore 
get wisdom this is the most beautiful thing you will ever know hallelujah let's read more let's go to proverbs chapter 12 verse 8 <laughs> a man shall be commended according to his wisdom it means a man shall be praised according to his wisdom so many people say oh nobody praises me nobody thinks highly of me because that thing comes from wisdom he say a man shall be commended according to his wisdom so somebody is looking for honor if somebody is looking you know that oh somebody should take him seriously that thing only comes when the person has wisdom a man shall be commended according to his wisdom and then the second connotation is a man shall be commended according to the wisdom so what does it mean more wisdom more commendation less wisdom less commendation simple so nobody should be saying oh society does not respect me blah 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 <laughs> the question the person should be asking what about wisdom wisdom brings honor wisdom bring under commendation so don't fight if somebody you know is not listening to you don't fight ask yourself are you talking wisdom if you are talking wisdom you will not care and if you are not talking wisdom go get wisdom but in any of the case you cannot be angry because the commendation is according to the wisdom so nobody can say i have money but i don't have wisdom <laughs> money will not bring commendation but wisdom will praise the lord and you can have money which you should have but <laughs> you will not be remembered for being the richest man but you will be remembered for the wisdom you displayed so you cannot say oh uh, i will not work for wisdom then it means you are telling me you don't want honor you don't want honor because honor will be given to you according to the wisdom you display next 1616 16. how much better is it to get wisdom than gold again how much better so he's again telling you he's telling you priority in life choices you have to make so many people say how do i know i'm making the right choice okay the choice you are making what is going to give you money or wisdom you can make the choice many time people go after the letter they go after the gold and they don't go after the wisdom praise the lord they want marks not they want to understand the subject again they are going after gold i'm just telling you they're going after the gold not after the wisdom praise the lord the bible is saying how much better is it to get wisdom again look at the consistency he said get wisdom again he's saying how much is it bet is it to get wisdom again he's telling you wisdom will not come to you if you don't go after it just because you gave birth to a child does not give you wisdom of a father or a mother if you never went after it chances are you don't have it there has to be a conscious effort not that whatever happen whatever will be will be it's not that kind of effort it is a conscious effort you put your time you put your energy and you know what you are after it's not the by product everything else will be a by product but this is the main product so it has to be a conscious choice i told you when i was a student i wanted to be the walking encyclopedia i wanted to know everything And when I became a Christian I wanted to know everything in Bible.
so these things will not happen automatically just because you are a good christian so it has to be conscious effort tell your neighbor get wisdom no if i can preach on this from here till rapture i'm still doing good to you so it looks like pastor does not have any other message okay come for all night i will give you 20 message praise the lord say get wisdom get wisdom am i communicating 198 he that this is this is remarkable he that get it wisdom loveth his own soul wow So if you say you love yourself go and get wisdom <laughs> He that getteth wisdom loveth his own soul So if you love yourself go get wisdom So if somebody says I will not go get wisdom you don't love yourself The Bible says he that getteth wisdom loveth his own soul Praise the Lord Ha 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 Are you with me? So how do you know you love yourself? How much wisdom you went after? So some people say, "I love myself." I say, "How much wisdom you have?" Pure, pure, pure. I say, "You don't never love yourself." According to Bible, according to Bible, the one who gets it wisdom loves his own soul. That's the best investment you can do for yourself. This is the best investment. you should have given yourself wisdom that's the best way to show love to yourself are you with me according to the bible so he that getteth wisdom loveth his own soul so if you are not feeling loved get wisdom you will feel you will feel love for yourself i love myself i'm telling you i don't need anybody in the world to come and say you are doing good <laughs> i don't need it i know praises of men can be the abuses of men in the twinkling of an eye praise the lord so i have that much wisdom so you love me you don't love me god bless you i love myself and how do i love myself because i will keep going after wisdom the more wise i will be getting the more love i am showing to myself I'm not showing love to me when I have eaten the Hyderabadi biryani. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Are you with me? Okay. First King ten twenty four. And all <laughs> this is remarkable. This is. I don't know when people read Bible, what they see. I always wonder. And all the earth. sought to solomon to hear his wisdom and it's quite contrasting quite remarkable because solomon was rich as well am i right not only rich the richest till today nobody has surpassed the wealth of solomon i will be the first one you can say about you i will be talking about me Praise the Lord! You understand. And all the earth sought to Solomon to hear his wisdom, not to see his wealth. And all the earth sought to Solomon to hear his wisdom, which God has put in his heart. So again, when we are talking about wisdom, we are telling you wisdom can only come from God. The worldly definition of wisdom is not actually wisdom. because wisdom is spiritual wisdom comes from god devil cannot give you wisdom your book cannot give you wisdom they can at best give you knowledge and there is a di- remarkable difference between knowledge and wisdom praise the lord are you with me a remarkable difference i can show you from the bible wisdom is a force knowledge puffeth up so the more knowledge you get the more haughty you will become you know in your mind you will become more uh more proud but the more wisdom you get the more humble you become praise the lord can you see the impact 
knowledge will make you proud wisdom will make you humble that's how you know where what you are getting whether you are getting wisdom or you are getting knowledge knowledge will just say i know this i know this i know you are getting knowledge not the wisdom because wisdom would have made you humble wisdom makes you humble so they are they look the same praise the lord you understand they might look the same wisdom and knowledge but they are remarkably different so all the year sought to solomon to hear his wisdom so again you can say okay how do i know i have wisdom when you open your mouth you will know because wisdom can be seen in your words praise the lord can you see this and all the year sought to solomon to hear his hear can you see it? so when solomon was talking wisdom was coming out of his mouth and all the year sought to solomon to hear his wisdom which god has put in his heart if only you understand where wisdom can place you praise the lord you can be you can be the most sought person in the whole world everybody wants to hear from you when you talk everybody's ear are there because they know what will come out of your mouth they know something remarkable which can change your life praise the lord hallelujah it's a grace but again if that is your pursuit pastor chris always told us he said what you have shows what you ran after you don't have anything for which you didn't run you can only only have what you ran after <laughs> that's the principle so if somebody says i don't have wisdom he's telling me he never ran after wisdom whatever you have shows what you were running after you have nothing which you didn't run after no i don't think so okay again you i if i if we open the thing you will understand suppose oh, oh pastor i didn't make a plan for success that's why i'm not successful no when you were not making the plan for success you were making plan for failure so you might think i didn't plan for success i didn't plan for failure so the possible outcome should be i should never be success i should never be a failure <laughs> you are talking stupidity are you getting my point so i didn't order for anything so nothing should come to me it's not a restaurant you sit in the restaurant it is a no we didn't order so not, neither coffee came nor tea came nor milk shake came nothing came it's not like that if you didn't plan for success eventually you were planning for failure there is no two ways it's not a restaurant i didn't order for something so nothing should come to me no 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 if you didn't plan for success you already planned for failure praise the lord are you with me ha 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 tell you never get wisdom get wisdom get wisdom you understand ecclesiastes 712 ha is if a wisdom is a defense and money is a defense so he is answering the people who say everything can be done by money yes money can do a lot in fact almost everything but there are some things which are reserved for wisdom so i'm not saying you should be poor you should have money because no, no wise man can ever be poor not with god's wisdom god's wisdom will make you rich money will just gravitate even if you don't want it money will come to you because god does not give you wisdom and does not give you money wisdom has money praise the lord are you with me wisdom has money so for wisdom is a defense and money is a defense but excellency of knowledge is that wisdom give it life to them that have it praise the lord so money cannot give you everything but wisdom can actually give you everything that wisdom give it life to them that have it 
it means those who have wisdom wisdom will give them life money cannot give you life but wisdom can praise the lord hallelujah are you with me so you have to have your priorities in life oh you are going to sign a deal and that was the time for reading the bible what you are going to choose unless and until you have planned not to sleep tonight but you cannot say i was on i was at work and that's why i didn't read bible <laughs> you are going for money not for wisdom if you if you want to work then have enough strength wake up early wake up 4 am and read your bible before you embark on your journey if you think you will be tired enough and not to able to read your bible then become wise change your lifestyle go what wisdom can give you money is a subset of wisdom just in technical knowledge you know wisdom has everything money has almost everything but not everything and remember money does not guide you oh lord money is just an amplifier money in itself has no power is about the person who uses the money and how he uses the money money cannot give you ideas but ideas can give you money so understand how powerful wisdom is and where money should be in your mind and i'm telling you if you are wise money will come you will go to church you will learn about tithing and if you do tithing you will always have money and when we say tithing we always tell you don't give to god as if you are giving in a charity and don't pray about it many people just give to church and they don't pray about it i say where are your prayers you are not dashing money to god oh we just came and gave tithe <laughs> everything is spiritual life is spiritual you make this money spiritual by praying over it make it a spiritual sacrifice holy and acceptable to god you pray you connect it to something god god has taught us in his word how to give don't give without expectation when you give keep track of your receiving have an expectation that you gave this much this should you should get is like you will do in a business am i right when you invest in a share market don't you keep a record of what the return is if you don't keep the record of your return that shows you didn't have faith you were just doing it religiously without faith you can give your tithe with religion <laughs> not with faith so don't think only christians pay tithe you know many people somebody say why christians pay tithe i say because you don't know Christians are not the only people who give tithe. You don't even know it. Go and ask. I won't give you the name again, as I said. You should have that much knowledge. Praise the Lord. So wisdom is a difference. Money is a difference. But the excellency of knowledge is that wisdom gives life to them. That I taught you. Don't spend your last money. Make it a seed. Pray over it. Don't borrow money. And when you when you want to give to god be wise because oh lord how do i explain it now you know because is not about giving only is about producing money you can be good and you can give all you have but you can be better if you learn how to produce money in that case you can will be able to give non stop and many women have to understand who are not working so what happened they give whatever the husband give and they are limited by their giving if they will understand the principle of producing they will not be limited by the by the husband's mercy praise the lord i talking about even the world talks about side hustle i hope you have heard that technical word have you heard that 
they call it now side hustle that's the word they use they call it hustle i don't know why they call it hustle but it used to be side business am i right but now they have ch- turned it to side hustle that's the terminology they are using even they talk about side business if you are working what what is your side business what are you creating you are only receiving the uh compensation for serving but what what are you producing become a producer don't just become a consumer if you are working you are just a consumer become a producer consumer will always be poor and producer will always be rich is the law of ma- financial management so you must have ability you must create ability to produce ha 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 are you with me two more scripture 19 719 wisdom is strengthen the wise more than 10 mighty men which are in the city beautiful So if you have wisdom at least you are 11 mighty men can you believe this at least 11 you we said wisdom is strength and the wise more than 10 mighty men which are in the city you understand so 10 mighty men joined one person they became a force of 11 and you are wise you alone are the force of 11 not 10 i hope you understand my calculation that's the calculation here you alone are equal to 11 and he said wisdom strengthen the wise more than so it's not even 11 more than only god knows how many praise the lord so you will not need so many bodyguard i'm not saying don't need have bodyguard but i'm saying you will have more strength people will fear you more people fear wise more than the mighty at least they are that wise praise the lord so wisdom is strengthen the wise more than Ten mighty men, which are in the city, more than remember, more than so it's not limited to ten. Next, last nine sixteen. Then said, "Wisdom is better than strength. Nevertheless, the poorest man wisdom is despised, and his words are not heard." So when we are saying have wisdom, we are not saying not to have money. So don't don't think oh, we are no money. Money is needed. Remember, wisdom of the poor man is not heard is despised and that's why god will if you have wisdom you will also have money wisdom will guide you praise the lord hallelujah think of a life when you know every decision you took was guided by wisdom won't you love it every word you spoke was guided by wisdom it happens to me several times if not all the time If I want to go on this direction, I will be moving on this direction. I can I I can tell you who is guiding me. Sometimes I want to say something, like even just now, <laughs> when I want to talk about wisdom, I said that's a serious business. I said something like I use word business. I didn't plan to say business. I had another word in my mind, but by the time I heard myself i said i spoke with i i i spoke business only god knows why it was not under my control my mind was not there my tongue was not there i plan to say something else so when wisdom is guiding you you will know it when you want to say something wisdom is saying, don't no no this is not the time to say keep quiet and you will see your life moving forward Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Tell me about get wisdom. Get wisdom. You know so if you didn't go to school is okay. Just get wisdom. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Just live to holy and thank God for his mercies, for his love, for his grace. Let's thank him speak in tongues. That's wisdom again. Pray, pray. We shall see the holy Tara Labadi. Pray, that's wisdom. We shall see the holy Labadi. Rante, read the Labadi. Galisha, the Ilara Labadi. Mantu, 
तारी तारी तारू तारी तारा तुरु तारी तारा तुरु तारी तारा तुरु तारी तारा तुरु तुरु तारी तारा तुरु तुरु तारी तारा तुरु तुरु री तारा लाबा दी दी तुरी दी ला 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 Hallelujah! Can you shout glory? If you're watching us for the first time and you're yet to give your life to Christ, just say this prayer after me because Jesus is the embodiment of all wisdom. Praise the Lord! So once you have Jesus, we'll also have wisdom. So say these words after me. Mean it from your heart. Say, Dear Lord God, I believe in Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God. I believe he died on the cross to save my soul and you raised him from dead on the third day and is alive forevermore. Today I confess the lordship of Jesus Christ over my life and I say that Lord Jesus is my lord and my savior from this day forward. I'm born again. I'm a child of God and I'm safe. And I'm wise. I have the life of God in my spirit. In Jesus' name, Amen. Praise the Lord. If you just did that prayer, our details on the screen. Please do let us know. That's wisdom again. You know, these are the acts of wisdom, and um, you cannot take them for granted because wisdom of God will always take you to the right direction. That's how you know where wisdom is taking you. Wisdom of God will tell you what God wants you to do. Again, because it is the wisdom of God. Wisdom of God cannot take you away from God. That's how you know who is guiding you. There are several ways you can know who is who is guiding you. Praise the Lord. So, please let us know that you just gave your life to Christ, so that we can pray for you, guide you, nurture you, till you become a beautiful, ardent follower of Lord Jesus Christ. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for them who have just given life to Christ. I bless them with the wisdom. With your grace, I name the name of Jesus upon them forever, and devil has no claim over their life whatsoever. In the name of Jesus, yes, Father, I bless them with your love, with grace, with your wisdom, and with your spirit. Be blessed in Jesus' name. Amen. This is the time to give our tithes, our offerings. Now I always thought you pray before you give, and you should have prayed long before you brought the offering. Bro, shatheli, lean traka, bragandali. If you're watching online, our details are there. That's wisdom again. Don't say I'm watching online and I will not give my offering. Then why did you watch? If wisdom brought you to watch. Wisdom will teach you to give. Father, in the name of Jesus, we say thank you for this honor, wisdom, and the grace to bring our ties, our seeds, our offering, our partnership, our thanksgiving. As we have given, O Lord, we receive multiplied harvest in the name of Jesus, O Lord. Thank you, Father. Good measure pressed down, running over, shaking together. People are given to our bosom in the name of Jesus, O Lord. We refuse to lack any good thing. Thank you, Father. And in Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah.
Let's stand up on our feet. Thank God for His love, for His mercies. In Jesus' name, Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. In Jesus' name, Amen. Surely His goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, Amen. Cheer up. The word works. to our channel hit the bell icon like comment and share thank you and god bless you